Okay guys, so good evening sa inyong lahat. So this time uh, we are going to discuss a new topic for a cable. So this time we will discuss the parabolic cables. So when we say parabolic, so if a flexible wire cable is suspended over two supports, so yung two support natin is support A and support B, and where, where most of the loads are distributed horizontally as in suspended bridge. So yung load na kinekeri niya is horizontally distributed along the span of the uh, cable. So the cable assumes the shape of a parabolic segment. So L represents the span between the two uh, support. Again, S is the length of the parabolic cable. D is what we call the sag, o yung pagkakalaylay ng iyong cable. And given as the uniform load, omega. So guys, yung H dito sa equation na to, that is the tension at the horizontal uh, point, or dito sa gitna. Kung, kung symmetrical yan, dito sa gitna yung H. So ayan. Okay, so andyan yung tension H mo. And then yung T, so either of these two support. So T lang yan pareho. Okay? So for this parabolic cable, uh, meron lang tayong dalawang, uh, dalawang cases na pwede mangyari. Una is ito, pantay pareho yung support. And yung pangalawa, uh, yung isang support is much higher compared dun sa iyong uh, isang support. Ano? So with this, uh, ang mangyayari dyan, since hindi pantayan, so meron dyang isang point na mas mataas yung tension na kinekeri. So by uh, analysis, alin ba dyan yung mas malaki yung tension na dadalhin? So syempre, nasa pinaataas or yung mas mataas na support. Okay, so the formulas that we are going to use uh, for this topic so, tension at point O. So, sinabi naman pala dito o nasaan yung tension. So, tension at point O. So, that is the H. Or dito sa lowest point ng iyong uh, parabolic cable. From where yung equation niya is W or omega L squared over 8D. And for the tension at A. So, this is pwede rin kay point B. Since pantay lang naman sila. Pareho lang yung tension sa kanilang dalawa. So, that is equals to T equals the square root of h squared plus the omega times l over 2 quantity squared. So for the length of the cable, meron tayong dalawang uh, pamamaraan para ma-compute ito. So una is using the approximate value or the approximate formula. And yung pangalawa, the exact value or the symmetrical for or applicable for symmetrical cable only. Okay? So, itong dalawa, pareho lang naman silang uh, pwede mong gamitin kay symmetrical cable. So, once na hindi siya symmetrical, uh, doon natin gagamitin yung uh, by integration. Ano? So, di ba doon sa integral, nakocompute naman natin yung length ng cable o ng parabolic curve. Okay? So, again, gaya nga nasabi ko nung una, itong dalawa, kahit hindi mo na ito sa uluhin. So, by equilibrium equation, pwede mo asing ma- solve you or ma-derive yung formula lang yan. So, ipakita ko kung paano. So, ang gagawin nyo dyan, guys, is magsa-section tayo dito sa gitna. Ano? So, this is good for the symmetrical only. So, once na hindi siya symmetrical, uh, there's a another method or ganito lang din naman principle, magsa-section ka para isolve yung ano, mga, or i-derive itong formula lang to. So, na nag-section kang ganyan, ano ba ang makikita natin sa Diagram. Saan ba ako pwede magsalat? Okay lang, pawiin ko na to. Okay, so na nag-section ako, ang lumabas is itong figure na to. So, ang i-consider ko na lang is yung left part ng diagram. Okay? So, ito, naputol yung cable. Sabi ko nga, this is our tension in the lowest point of the parabolic curve. And ito, this will be the tension T. So guys, ang gagawin ko, itong uniform load, itataas ko lang siya. Ano? So ibig sabihin, ang itsura ng diagram niya is pa ganyan. 
Okay, so nung pinutol natin sa gitna, so ano ba ito? ba diba ito, itong total span is L. Therefore, the span of this is L over 2. And knowing that this is omega, and let's say, uh, sinabi naman pala dun, that this is point A. So guys, when you take summation ng moment at point A, we can solve for the value of your H or the tension at the bottom of the parabolic cable. So assuming that counterclockwise moment as positive, take summation of moment A equals to 0. Again, from the figure, nakalimutan ko pala yung dito. So this is known as a distance D or that is the sag of your parabolic curve. So, again, summation of moment at A. So, H multiplied by the distance of D. So, yung tension T mo, since concurrent yan, so, wala na to. So, equals, okay lang, equals sa natin. Since ito yung clockwise, transpose ko sa abila to make it in positive. So, omega times L over 2. So, ano yan? Diba ito is force pa lang? And then, i-multiply mo ulit ng L over 2 over or yung kalahati nung kalahati. Ano? Kasi ang mangyayari dyan, ito na siya. So, omega L over 2. So, force na yan. And ito, so ano ba itong distance na ito? Di ba ito is L over 4 lang? So, ito lang din yun, no? Pag sinimplify mo. Okay. Or, e, uh, ano pa natin? Simplify pa natin. So, the HD, and then multiply by omega L squared over 8. Okay? Or H is equivalent to omega L squared over 8D. Ayan. So, yun. Nandirive. And then when you take uh, or, or you make a uh, force diagram on this, di ba ano bang mapapalabas natin? Di ba pababa? So, ano sabi doon sa pababa? That is omega L over 2. And then punta sa kaliwa. So, that is H from where yung H is ito. H, and then yung tension will, will represent as the hypotenuse of this force diagram. So in order to solve for T, so that is equals lang sa square root of H squared and then plus omega L over 2 squared. Okay? So yan lang naman yan. So dyan po na-derive yung equation na to. Okay, so let's proceed with the first problem. I-apply natin yung uh, principle dito sa ating unang problem. Okay, so uh, paibasa naman ako ng first problem natin. Um, Mr. Dale Ryan Mayuga. Sir, madami po kasing hindi po online sa amin kung pwede daw po. Oo, nire-record ko na siya. Uh, sige, Mr. Dale, ah, paibasa naman ako ng problem. Okay. So, what is required in the problem? So, we need to solve for the uniform load, the maximum uniform load that it can take if the maximum tension that it can attain is 3 kips and also determine the length of the cable using approximate and exact value. So, sinabi naman sa problem kung anong equation yung gagamitin. Okay, so gawa muna tayo ng free body diagram pero ang gamitin ko ito na lang din. So, again, yung maximum tension mo is either of these two support. So, andito lang pareho. And since pantayan, pareho lang naman silang ng value. So, let's just say itong ala portion na lang ay ko-consider ko ulit. So, the tension in that cable is equivalent to 3 kips. And then, do sa baba, sa mid niya, sa kagitnaan, so that, that is our uh, tension which is equals to H. So, again, yung uniform load, eh, taas mo lang naman dito. So, ganun na rin yun. Or parang, ang gawin na lang natin yung ano ha, uh, analyze natin siya using uh, section, sectioning. 
So again, mag-section tayo dito sa gitna. So anong makikita sa diagram? So again, this is your support. From where yung tension mo is given as 3 kips. So uniform load ka dito. With a value of, again, ito nga pala yung hinahanap. This is omega. And the span, so since kitnaan yan, that is equals to 25 feet. So this is our tension H. So the span of this or the distance or the sack is equals to 6 feet. So paano ba natin siya isosolve? So ang una, mag-force diagram na ba tayo? Ah, hindi. Mag-ano muna tayo. Again, yung parang yung kanina lang yung derive natin. So, mag-moment muna tayo kay A para makakuha tayo ng equation ng H in terms of omega. Tapos siya ata yung mag uh, ano, yung force diagram. So, when you take summation ng moment at point A, so that will be equals lang to zero. So, 6H is equals to omega times 25 and then multiply by 25 over 2 as your perpendicular distance. So, the value of H is equals to... So, guys, papindot na lang ako nito. Ah. So, 25 times 25 divided by 2 divided by 6. Para makuha natin yung numerical value ni omega. Ah, ni H. So, 25 times 25 divided by 12. Ano sagot po? 52.0. Eh, yung ano na lang, yung decimal para wala tayong tapon. Okay, so 625 over 12. So, let this be our equation 1. And equation 2 will be coming from yung sa, ano, sa force diagram. So, ano lang to? Uh, Paulit-ulit lang yung solution mo. So, kung may mahihirapan ka siguro is yung sa ano pa, sa haba ng cable or dung parabolic curve. Since kailangan mo siyang masaulo. Pero hindi nyo nga sasauluhin eh. Open notes naman pag exam. Ah, sorry. Pala ang ano. 25 times omega, so this is your 625 over 12 omega, and then this is your 3 kips. So, ayan, shoot na agad sa banga. So, 3 kips, dito ko na lang squared, ah. 3 squared is equals to 25 times omega squared plus 625 over 12 omega squared. So, ship sold tile. What will be the value of omega? So, parang ano to? Nakakip speed kasi. Gawin nyo na lang tong ano. Maliit siguro ang sagot nito. Ito kasi nakakip eh. Baka, di yung mangyayari. Kips per feet yung kaalabasan. So, i-convert na lang natin to to 3,000. Okay? Okay lang ba? Para ang sagot natin is in pound per feet. So, what is the answer for this? Parang iisa lang yung sumasagot. Parang walang ibang napindot bukod kay ano. Pasa ko na nga sa tsuri yun. 51.9274. Okay. So, 9277. So, this is the answer for the first part. And then, yung sunod, ano lang naman siya? Uh, direct substitution. Ano? Uh, kabisaduin nyo lang yung equation. So, mapapalabas natin yun. So, saan ba natin pwede isulat? Dito na lang. So, una is using the approximate method. Approximate method. So, again, ano nga yung equation natin for approximate method? So, di ba yung S is equals to, ano, yung ko rin, so, sige, uh, silipin ko na lang dito. <laughs> hindi ko na rin sa ulo to eh. So, syempre, hindi na naman ako napasok. So, ulo yun na lang to. 8D squared. So, plus 8D squared, kopyahin ko lang ha, over 3L. And then, minus 32D raised to 4. is 32D raised to 4 over uh, 5L cube. L cube. From where yung L mo, that is the span between the two supports. So, that is 50. And yung D mo, that is equals to 6. So guys, pa-substitute na lang ako. Hindi ko na isusulat para 
ma-maximize natin yung space. So, ang sagot natin dito is in terms of fit. So, if you're going to solve this uh, using the approximate and exact value, uh, kaunti lang naman yung difference, eh. Point something lang. So, either of these two, pwede, na, pwede, pwede naman gamitin. Ano? If wala naman sabihin sa problem during exam. So, ano po sagot natin? Eight, 51.8536. 51.8536. And yung isa, using the exact value, so ang equation na gagamitin natin is yung itong mahaba. So S is equal to L squared. So S is equal to L squared over 8D. Then quantity multiplied by M times K. plus ln of m plus k, plus ln plus m plus k. From where yung uh, m natin, so ito is yung ratio lang ng 4d over l. 4d over l. From where yung d mo nga is 6 and yung l mo is 50. And yung k, so yan ay yung 1 plus, square root of 1 plus m squared. Square root of 1 plus the m squared. So, substitute nyo lang dito. Direct substitution again. Then, salpak ko sa formula or equation. And, ano yung magiging sagot natin? Paki-check na lang or pakipindot. 51 point. So, sure ako, 51 point ano yan. Something. So, check lang natin kung halos parehas nga ba. Fifty one point eight five eight six eight five eight six. So halos pareho lang ano. So dun sa third and fourth decimal lang nagka run ng difference. And guys, ipakita ko na rin sa inyo uh, kung paano siya isinosog using the integral. So di ba sabi sa integral nyo that s or the length of the curve is equals lang sa yung lower limit na x one and yung upper limit na x two and then square root of one plus yung y prime squared. So, I don't know if tanda pa to. Si Sugiro, uh, familiar. Looks pam. Looks pam, sir. Looks familiar. Okay? And then, di ba yung ano ba yung equation natin ng uh, parabolic curve? Di ba yun ay equals lang sa y is equals to k x squared. Tama? So, if you want to solve for the k, for this uh, case, di ba ang k is equals lang sa y over x squared. Okay? And then yung y, sabi dito, that is equivalent to 6. And yung x natin is 25 squared. So, to simplify 25 squared, teka, ano ba yung 25 squared? So, 6 to 5. Okay lang? So, doon ang 6 to 5, nanggaling lang sa 25 squared. Eh. Okay. So, once we get that value, so substitute nyo natin siya dito again. So, that is y is equals to 6 over 6 to 5 of x squared. Ang kailangan natin is yung first derivative or yung y prime. Again, y prime is equals lang saan? Diba dy all over dx. So, ito magiging y prime lang. And then, just take the derivative of this. So, diba, ibababa mo lang yung uh, 2 or magiging 12 over 6 to 5, and then x, tapos 2 minus 1, or x na lang yan. Okay? 
So ayan, uh, salpak muna lang itong y prime dito sa equation na to. So that will be s and then ayan. So ang limits natin guys, so again dito nga tayo nag section. So ang limit mo since it is papunta sa kaliwa. So the lower limit will be equal sa negative 25 kasi papunta siya doon eh. Ano? And then yung upper limit since papunta siya doon, so that will be positive 25. And square root of 1 plus uh, 12 over 625x and then squared and then ayan. So try nga, pindut, al alam ko napipindu to sa alq eh. So ipindut naman ako sa alq kung uh, parehas nga lang ba yung lalabas. Parehas lang, ang bilis naman pumindot ni Alipala. So, 55, ano, ano yung uh, sagot, Mr. Alipala? 51. So, pareho lang. Ano? So, nasa sa inyo guys kung ano yung gusto nyo gamitin. Para sa akin, ano na to? Parang mas okay to. Kasi ito, flexible. If hindi pantay yung support mo, ito kasi wala ka na magagawa kung hindi pantay yung support. Pero kung ito yung panghawakan mong equation, or alam mo yung principle na yan, so, dala na lahat. Masosolve mo lang yung iba pang problem. Okay. So, ano ba? Ko copy? Ah, i-paper screen nyo nga lang pala. Sige, pa-screenshot na lang. And let's proceed with the next problem. Ayan. So, ito yung isang case kung saan uh, hindi pantay yung mga support natin. So, ang only difference dito, guys, is ang gagawin natin, ilolocate natin kung saan yung location, kung nasaan yung uh, horizontal tension H. Kasi kapag ganyan yung case, guys, hindi yan, wala yan sa gitna. Ano? That there is a certain distance kung saan mo matatagpuan yung tension na H. Okay? So, to do that, uh, let's just say na nandito siya. Uh, wala pala akong hawak na pen. So, sabihin natin na nandito siya. So, this is your tension H. Kung saan yan ay matatagpuan natin sa distance na X. Okay? So, kung yan ay X, ano yung kabila nating side? So, yan ay magiging equals lang sa... Nababasa nyo ba yung ano? Yung message sa messenger ko. Nakikita, no? Uh, 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 ano nyo na lang yan? Huwag nyo na lang pansinin. 25 minus x. So, kung, 20, kung x to, 25 minus x lang yan. So, ang mangyayari lang dyan, guys, is uh, i-consider mo yung both section and then i-equate mo yung equation ng h para mahanap yung mga tension in each cable. Kasi nga, ito ay Dito na natin masasabi na ito is tension A and then ito is tension B. Magkaiba na yan. And we all know na kapag mataas yung support mo and kahit itry nyo lang, di ba kung mas mataas ka, ikaw yung magdadala ng mas malaking load. Okay, so let's just say this is point A and this one is point B. So kapag nag-section ka, ito yung makikita mo sa figure. So this is your tension A. And then itaas ko na yung horizontal load ah. Ayan. So, this is your 600 pound per feet uh, acting at a distance x. And this is our h. Okay? And the sag of that is equal sa 10 feet. And yung kabila, okay, so again, this is 600 pound per feet. And ito, so this is tension B. And this is your H. So pareho lang silang H. So yun lang yung ano nila, uh, relationship. Pareho lang yung H anyway. So this is 25. Okay, so unahin muna natin tong aside na to. So... This is point A again, and this is point B. So, the first equation will be coming from point A. So, when you take summation ng moment at point A, the equation will be equal sa 10H is equals to 600X and then multiply by X over 2. 
So, H can be computed as, okay lang, i-60 ko na. 60x squared over 2. Okay lang yun, eh. Ibinaba ko lang to. And then, cancel, 60, and then x squared over 2. Or pwede rin namang 30x squared. So, this will be our equation number 1. And equation number 2 will be coming from uh, this point. So, take summation ng moment at B. So, assuming clockwise direction as positive equals to 0. So, we will have a 25h is equals to 600 times uh, 25 minus x and then 25 minus x all over 2. Or h will be equals... Uh, 600 over 50, tama ba? And then 25 minus x, and then squared. So this will be our equation number 2. And then gaya nga na sabi ko kanina, equate, equation 1 and equation 2, since uh, pareho lang naman silang h, or the equation will be 30x squared is equals to 600 over 50 times 25 minus x squared. So, what will be the value of your x? Uh, I pinned it naman. Two point nine two point nine nine six eight six. So nakuha ng iba. Napindot din. Pareho lang. Okay, so if we have the value of your uh, x, so medyo mula ipala no. So, ang mangyayari, uh, if you have the value of x, you can now solve for the value of your h. Okay? So, h, substitute mo lang doon. So, pa-salpak na lang dito. Kahit saan dyan sa dalawa, pareho lang nalalabas. Ano yung value ng h mo? Ano yun? Ito lang. Uh, 30 times 2.9686 squared. Sige. 37.68. So, this is in pound. Okay. So, next. Uh, ano pa bang hinahanap? Detention in each cable at each support. So, ang pinapahanap is TA also and TB. Simplify na lang natin na. Ang diretso ko ng force diagram. So, ito, 600 times X. Ito is yung CH mo, si 264.3768. And then, ito si tension A. So, ang tension A, uh, makakompute siya as square root of your h squared plus the 600x squared. Okay? So, pakiano na lang ako ng sagot dito. And yung tension b, so ganun lang din. I-drawing ko lang yung uh, force diagram niya. So, bababa ka dito. So, that is 600 times uh, 25 minus x, and then kakanan, kakaliwa ka dito of a value of h, and then ito will be your tension b. So, for tension b, so that is equals lang sa h squared plus 600 times 25 minus x, and then squared. 
Super check na lang. May nag-chat yet. Okay. Sir Chappy po sa akin. Hello. Baka mabagal internet mo. Chappy ba? Hindi naman. Uh-uh. Sige. Uh, pa, eh, ano naman ako ng TA? Ano nga yung TA? One nine four six. And yung para kay tension B. Okay. Six hundred point nine three six six. Oh. Yeah. Okay na yun. <laughs> so, ang sunod, uh, hinahanap ba yung length ng cable? Okay, so, determine the length of the cable. So, again, integral na yung gagamitin natin. Wala, ba't ari hindi gumana? Ayan. So, using ko lang ulit yung view. Okay, so, ang gagawin nga lang ulit natin is... Uh, kukunin natin yung value ng k niya. So, yung value ng k, knowing that the equation for a parabola is 9, uh, is y is equals to k x squared. So from where yung k is equals to y over x squared. Okay? So, yung y mo, so, paano ba natin makukuha yung y? So, that is ang i-consider natin guys is para dito sa eto na lang itong side na to kasi kung mapapansin nyo dalawa yung sag niya so gamitin natin to so that is 25 25 over from where yung x mo so that is 25 minus x so 25 minus x squared kung saan yung x ka is na compute natin as 2.9686 so, what is the value of our k? Zero point zero five one five. Okay, and then uh, by applying again the equation for the s, so that is the upper limit mo. So since uh eto ah, so, sorry yung lower limit mo since itong x mo is nandito sa side na kaliwa so that is negative 2.9686 and then yung taas so that will be uh, yung 25 minus x so tw ano ba yung 25 minus 2.968 25 minus 2.9686 so that is 22.0314 And then, square root of uh, 1 plus uh, 0 0.0515 and then x squared. Nasa nga ba yung squared? Ah, sorry, nasa labas. Ayan. So, what will be the answer? One plus ions twenty five. So two point two nine zero five. Okay, so medyo ano pala ah, hindi accurate yung drawing natin. So ten. Oh nga hindi rin kasi twenty five na to. Okay, so this is the answer. Okay, so that is our uh, second type of cable. So, ang isa-isahin ulit natin. So, una, we have the cable which is carrying a concentrated load. And then, yung pangalawa, sa so parabolic curve. And last, will be for the catenary. So, ang catenary curves mo, o yung catenary cable, uh, 
meron lang din siyang list of formulas na gagamitin. Okay? So, identify muna natin yung mga parts niya. O, basahin muna pala natin yung kanyang definition. So, when the cable sags due to its own weight, the cable assumes the shape of a catenary, which is in the graph of the equation y is equals to cosine hyperbolic of x. So, anong nangyari dito, guys? So, again, meron ang T1 and T2. And then, yung uniform load mo is acting along dun sa shape ng iyong cable. So, meron ka dito S1 and S2. So, this is the length of each cable. So, nahati siya somewhere here. And then, dito sa gitna, hindi siya necessarily gitna. So, somewhere here at this point, meron siyang uh, displacement na C. So, at this displacement, uh, yan yung gagawin mong reference para ma-determine yung inyong y sub 1 and y sub 2. And the distance between this support papunta do sa C, so that is denoted by x1 and x2. So, dito, uh, at dito yung limang formulas na gagamitin natin, kung saan yung tension at lowest point. So, again, dito pala, lowest point pala to. So, ito, ang tension dyan is tension H. So, parang yung kanina lang sa uh, parabolic curve cable. So, ang, po, ang tension sa kanya is H is equals to omega times yung displacement mo na C. And then, the tension in the cable 1, so that is omega times yung Y1 mo. Or, that can be also equals lang sa square root ng H squared multiply by the quantity of omega times S1 squared. And for T2, so parang si T1 lang siya, nabaltan lang yung ilang uh, variable sa kanya, yung Y1 naging Y2, and yung S1 naging S2. Okay, so yung Y1 natin can be computed as Y1 squared is equal to S1 squared plus C squared. So as for the Y sub 2, so magiging 2 lang yan. And last will be for the x distance. So that is x1 is equal to c times ln ng y1 plus s1 over c. Then quantity or yung for x2, that is x2 is equal to c times ln times y2 plus s2 over c. Okay, so iso ano itong sunod natin? So isolve natin itong susunod na problem. So, a uniform cable weighing 15 newton per meter is suspended from point A and point B. The force in cable is known to be 500 newton. Calculate the force in the cable A. Okay? So, dito, uh, ang binigay is the force in cable is known to be 500 newton. And the uniform load has a value of 15 newton per meter. So, ang pinapahanap, guys, is yung tension dito sa cable A. Given is yung tension natin dito sa cable B, which is equivalent to 500 newton. Okay, so from the list of formula, di ba, alam natin na yung, uh, ano ba to? Y1 sub C. Okay, so, di ba yung TB natin is equivalent sa omega times y sub 2. And yung y sub 2 natin, uh, di ba ang y sub 2 is ito? Nasaan ba yun? Teka lang. Paltan ko lang yung kulay para makita. Di ba at a certain uh, displacement here, ito yung y sub 2 mo talaga. Ito yung point, ito yung C. And then ito, yung y sub 1. So, ang tip lang dito guys, papaikot-ikotin mo lang kung alin yung equation na pwedeng gamitin, ayun yung gagamitin mo. Okay? X sub 1 and this is x sub 2. So, before nga ito, kailangan sa ulo mo eh. Kasi, hindi naman kami na-open notes before the exam. So, yung y sub 2 mo, uh, since uh, kailangan nga natin gamitin kung alin yung mga available na uh, based on the problem. So, y sub 2, kung titingnan mo yung figure, ano siya? Equal siya saan? Di ba yung y sub 2 is equal saan? Equal sa c plus 8. Di ba ito? C lang din to. 
So y sub 2 is equals to c plus 8. And knowing that yung tension B mo is equals to 500, so masosob natin yung omega. So that is c plus 8. And yung omega, hindi ko pala napalitan to. Sorry, uh, hindi pa Hindi pa ako nakain. Wala pang luto eh. So, nasaan yan? Omega 15 newton per meter. So, paipindot naman. Ano po yung value ng ating C? Twenty five point thirty. Sakto po. Mm -mm. So twenty five point three 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 three. Alas ocho na. Meter. Okay. So since meron na tayong value ng T, uh, C, we can now solve for the value of T A. Uh, pinapanap sa problem. Ano? So T A. So di ba yun ay equals lang sa omega times y sub 1. And knowing that yung omega is 15, and since may value na tayo ng C mo, so di ba ang y1 is equals lang sa 4 plus C, or 4 plus 25.3333. So what is the tension in cable A? Four hundred thirty nine. 9995. Okay. So, may nakuha na tayong isa. Next is to determine, calculate, uh, ah, ito pala, yung span L. So, ang kailangan natin mahanap is yung distance x1 and x2. Kasi nga, ito, ito yung total span. Okay. So, from the list of the equation, alin ba yung pwede natin gamitin? So, tingnan mo lang mabuti. Based on the Diagram. So, may ano ba tayo? Y1. Wala. So, ang S1. Ah, ito. Pwede natin gamitin yung equation number 4. And at the same time, yung uh, equation number 5. Ano? So first, uh, let's uh, solve first for the value of your S1. Kasi nga, sabi doon sa S1, ang equation niya, itong number 4. So di ba yan ay equal sa, isulat muna natin yung equation para hindi tayo nahirapan. So y1 squared is equals to S1 squared plus C squared. S1 squared plus C squared. Okay? So yung ating S1, so, pag minanipulate mo lang yung equation mo, di ba na x square root lang ng y1 squared minus c squared. Okay? So, since meron na naman tayo ng mga to, tama? So, masosolve natin yung s1. So, 4 plus 25.333 squared and then minus uh, 25.33. 3 squared. Okay? So, what will be the value of S1? Seventy-eight seventy-four meter. Okay. So, since we have now the value of S1, uh, we can now solve for X1. So, using the uh, fifth formula, so that is Celine. Celine of Y1 plus S1, Y1 plus S1 all over C. Okay, so yung C, 25.3333. And then LN of Y1. So ang Y1 nga natin is 4 plus 25.333. Hindi ko pa ginawa 29. And then plus uh, 14.7874. All over your C na 25.3333. Okay, so what is the value of your X1? So, 14.0523. 5, 
ah, sorry, 0523. So, meters, okay? And para do sa abilang span, yung X2, so ganun lang din yung gagawin natin dito. So, S2, that is just equal sa Y sub 2 squared minus C sub 2, or that can be written as, so ano ang Y2 natin? So, 8 plus C, ano ba 25 plus 8? 33, tama. 33.3333. 33 squared. And then minus 25.3333 squared. So we will have a value of S2. So 8 plus C lang to ah. Yung 33.333. Uh, Sige. Six six four one meters. Okay, so x sub two, maompit natin using the equation. So Celine, or the direction na natin twenty five point three 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 of ln, and then raise to y sub two na thirty three point three 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 plus uh, s two na twenty one point six six four one. All over the C na 25.3333. So what is the answer? Nineteen point six three seven six three seven five. Okay. Okay, so to, to solve for L, so just take the sum of x1 and x2, which is equals to what? Thirty three point six six eight nine eight. Okay, so good. Thirty three point six eight nine eight. Okay, so ayan lang na. So yung topic naman na cable, ano lang na. Medyo madali lang. So kaya kaya nyo yan. Okay, so that ends our discussion for the cable. So tomorrow, uh, start tayo ng uh, arches. Okay? So magbao na lang ako sa inyo ng isang sample problem. Okay? So hanap lang ang problem dito. Sige, isend ko na lang dun sa... Pwede ba magsend ng attachment dito sa ano? Google Meet. So, isend ko na lang doon sa mga class representative ano, and then isend nila sa inyo para matry nyo ma-solve yung problem. Okay guys, so thank you. So, see you tomorrow. So, same schedule tayo ha. Thank you. Pagkain na kayo.